some of it is how you think. Um, I'll give an example. We had a kid here in 2012 that went one for eight or one for seven in the national championship game and walked in at halftime and was tough enough to say, I can't make a shot. I'm going to get every rebound and I'm going to block every ball. Duran, you score. Uh, Darius, make shots. Michael, you guys go do it. Uh, Marcus T, go do your thing. I'm going to do mine blocking and rebounding. That's a tough player. So in versus walking in with a body language that I can't make a shot today, I can't believe this, and looking for, the, you have no toughness. You have no toughness. Tough player deals with what's there and responds to it. So I'm talking a lot about body language because it, body language screams. It screams for everybody to see. Head down, this. And in most cases, it's an immaturity thing, but the second part of it is a little lack of toughness, mental toughness, that I'm not getting broken down because I missed a couple shots or I fumbled a ball or I missed a free throw. I don't care. I'm tough. It's, I didn't think I had to teach them this, but I pulled out the toughness sheet and we read what toughness is. And as I read them to them, are we that? No. Are we this? No. Are we that? No. Are we this, this, this? No. Do we talk? No. And so my point to them is how we think has to change if you want how you're playing to change, how you approach this stuff. So I've had to do this with every team, probably more so with this team. But I've not had a team this young before.